I'm going to read the contract. Why? Because it's my Hancock on the line, not yours. Um, although he explained everything very um, thoroughly, um, but I still wanted to read it myself uh, so I could know what I was getting myself into. And the bottom line is that many, many times you have individuals, you have attorneys, you have um, closers that don't explain to the individuals what they're in for. Uh, they talk about these balloon payments. They talk. They give you these nice, fancy terms of what you will end up paying. It's only going to be a thousand dollars. Don't worry about it. Down the road, um, it may go up a little bit, but it won't go up that much. And then one day, three, four years later, you find out that your your mortgage has doubled or tripled immediately because it has your balloon payments have expired or your interest rates have expired. It was just um, it was just for a few years. So. We have to be very careful of what we sign. You know, adjustable interest rates are dangerous. Um, the most important thing is fixed rates. I, re I remember when I was signing off on my co-op, what I did was, I, the first thing I asked is, is it a fixed rate? They said, it's a fixed rate. I said, okay. I said, now let me see where it says it's a fixed rate. So they showed me that that's where it was. Um, customer, get understand your rights. And what I've done is I've introduced what's called a mortgage bill of rights. Now, for those of you who are possibly in foreclosure, it's not going to help you now. It won't. Because it's already done with. And the governor hasn't signed this into law. But for future uh, uh, people, future um, home buyer, uh, first time home buyers or refinance, uh, people that want to refinance, this will help you. And this basically is a document that's going to be a one stop shop of all your rights. One piece of paper about 20 or so rights that talk about what those rights are. Uh, and you read them, you sign off on it, and then you give it back to the lender, you give it back to the broker, whoever you're dealing with, and they keep a copy of it before they move forward. Currently right now, what ends up happening is that all your rights are all mixed, hidden somewhere in all the tons of paperwork that they give you. So, Right now, what we want to do is want, want to make it easy, put it in one piece of paper so that everybody can read it, understand it, and put it up on the website, um, and everyone understands what they are, where they can go to if they have a problem.